Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and this time I'm gonna teach you how to make the Millennium Falcon. Doesn't this look cool? With the movie coming out, lots of people want to know how to make this. So I came up with this design that uses only three balloons. Let me show you how to make it. To make this design, you'll need three 260s, all gray. But so it's easier for you guys to learn, I'm gonna be using three different colors. I'll be using purple, pink, and blue 260s. But once again, when you make it for somebody, use gray. Get your first 260 out and inflate it two thirds of the way. Let them out and tie. Give the balloon a nice squeeze and a stretch because we want it to be soft. We're gonna make three bubbles all the same size. They should be about four inches in length. They should also be soft on each side. So every time you make a bubble, first don't let it go. And second, give it a squeeze. This will make sure that each one is really soft. Now we have three bubbles all the same length. We're gonna take the knot and we're gonna twist it into this seam over here. To keep it from coming undone on me, I'm gonna take the knot over here. I'm gonna pull it through and out the other end. Now I have one triangle. Now I'm gonna repeat that two more times. Squeeze and stretch. Three bubbles all the same size. Once again, these are about four inches. Now I'm gonna twist this seam here into this seam here. So now I have two triangles that are about the same size. I need one more. And once again, I twist this seam here into this seam here. You'll notice I have a big section left over. If you have that, you can pop it at the end, let the air out slowly, and then just wrap it around so it doesn't come inflated. But you should have two there and one there, three triangles all together. Now, before we move on to the next balloon, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna attach these together. You're gonna take two sides of two triangles and fold them together so that the seam at the end meets like that. You're then gonna try to get these two seams here to twist together. You don't need to twist it a lot, just two times around. Just like that. And you can see how those lock together. Now we're gonna do that again with this one and this one. Then you want to adjust it so it looks like this. You can see this sort of looks like a half circle or the backside of the Millennial Falcon. <gasps> yeah, it's the backside of the Millennial Falcon. All right, time to get the next balloon out. Get your next 260 out and inflate it two thirds of the way. Let them out and tie. Give it a nice squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna start by making a really small flower petal. It's gonna be maybe two inches in length, really small. We're gonna follow that up with a small one inch bubble which we're gonna pinch twist by folding it over. Pinch it, pull it and twist it. That's gonna be the cockpit where Han Solo and Chewie sit. Now give the balloon another squeeze and a stretch. We want this to be soft. We're gonna twist another seam about an inch down. So that little tiny bubble there. Now we wanna make two bubbles, one inch bubble, fold it over, pinch twist it. The next of the two bubbles, one inch bubble, Fold it over, pinch twist that one too. So you should have something that looks like this so far. Remember to give the balloon a squeeze and a stretch every so often to make sure it's soft. Now we're gonna go down another four inches and we're gonna make two more pinch twists the same size. One inch bubble, fold it over, pinch twist it. One inch bubble, fold it over. Pinch twist it. Now we're gonna make another four inch section. We're gonna mix it up and make a two inch section. And we're gonna make another four inch section. So these two here on the end should be four inches and the one in the middle should be two inches. Now we're gonna take this seam here and we're gonna twist it into these two pinch twists. So it should look like this so far. Now we're gonna make another four inch section over here. And we're gonna follow that up with two pinch twists, if you can. I'm sort of out of air already. 
There's one. I might be able to get a second one out. Oh, and two, I did it. The rest of this I don't need, so I'm gonna pop off the end. Put the out slowly. And tie a knot so it doesn't come undone on me. I know it doesn't look like much, but we need this to make our Millennium Falcon. Now we're gonna attach this onto this. These two bubbles here are gonna go right here in the middle. So you need to gently work this into that spot, however you feel most comfortable. I like to go right through the middle. See, like that. Next you want to arrange it like this. One bubble on that side, one bubble on that side, the little thin pink triangle here on the top. Also notice that I have one section here sticking out this way and the other section sticking out that way. Now we're gonna take this pinch twist and work it into this seam right here. So it looks like this. Next, I'm gonna get one of these pinch twists under and through that seam right there. You only need one of the pinch twists. Then you wanna arrange it like this, where it lays nice and flat. Then you have the little cockpit sticking out and up like that. And this part here with the pink triangle, just sticking up as if it completes the rest of the circle. Get your last balloon out and inflate it two thirds of the way. Let a little air out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. This part's gonna be the easiest, trust me. Take the knot and wrap it into these two pinch twists right here. You then wanna measure a section up that goes just past this bubble. So when you hold it up like that, right past that bubble, twist the seam. Now you wanna figure out how far down you have to come back to get to that bubble. Should be about two inches. Now we're gonna make a four inch section. Notice that I squeezed it so it's soft. And this seam right here, we're gonna twist into this bubble right there. But you can see I have this long section, a two inch bubble and a four inch bubble. Now this seam is gonna get twisted right here where this bubble is. So it should look something like this. Now we're gonna do that again, but in reverse for the other side. We're gonna make the four inch section first, then the two inch section, then the long section. How long? How do we make this? What? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how right now. We're gonna use this side to measure everything. By moving the balloon over here, I can actually hold it up and get a good measurement of each of the sections. So you can see how those two match up. Now for the long one. I fold it over and now I can measure it over here too. I can squeeze it and then pinch it right where it needs to be to get the right measurement. Just make sure you don't let go of it. Once I have that seam, I wanna twist it into these two pinch twists on the other end. So your balloon should look something like this so far. This part here we don't need so we can break it off at the end. Let the out slowly. And you can tie a knot so it doesn't come down on us. And then I just like to take the excess and tuck it away. We're almost done. The only thing left to do is attach the pink balloon to the purple balloon. I know these will all end up being gray. Don't worry. This is just to teach you how to do it. Take this bubble here with the pink balloon and just like we did with the blue balloon, we're gonna twist those around each other, matching that seam with this seam. Just like that. We're gonna do that with this purple balloon and this pink balloon over here. All right, only thing left to do is adjust everything. You wanna make sure the bubble here is sitting nice and easy. You wanna make sure this bubble over here is also sitting easy. Oh, that one deflated on me. Sometimes that happens, but it's okay. You should be all right. What I meant by easy is that it's not fighting for position because you want all the balloons to lay nice and flat. And along those lines, you want to adjust each one of these coupled balloons to make sure they're not fighting for position. All right, we're almost done. Last but not least, adjust the end of the Millennium Falcon. These part here aren't really curved, so I like to straighten them up a little bit. I 
I think that helps a lot. With those being straight, it looks a lot more like it, don't you think? Now I know with this one being blue and pink and purple, it doesn't really look like the Millennium Falcon. But when it's gray, it sure does. If you've done everything right and you followed along, this is what it should look like. Out of only three balloons, can you believe it? Well, that's it for this video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed yourself, let me know by clicking the thumbs up button. And I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new balloon animal lesson. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure to subscribe. And if you can't wait till next Monday, check out the playlist in the description. I have over 100 balloon animal lessons. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons. Even the Millennium Falcon.